Okay, so we're in standard tuning for this one. And it's in the key of G. It's a great song. It's a really nice song for like an intermediate type of uh, player because it's not that hard, but it sounds really good. Um, and I'll just go over the chords first of all without the licks. So just there's like a G, which is just a, a basic standard G, where you've got the third on the A string there. You got a standard D chord, and you got like like this, which is basically a C9, okay, which is like there, open D, well that's what, A3, open D, G, D, and then a G chord over a B bass, and then we've got this chord here, which is like a B flat 6, the 6 is the G there, open G, and then we've got like a C chord, just a different voicing of, of that. Okay, and then we've got a, a G chord up here too. Okay, so later on we've got an A. So the chords aren't really difficult, they're pretty basic. I think the thing that people struggle with the most on this song is the timing. Okay, so we'll talk about the timing in a minute. Because uh, I've got a little trick that um, I think will help a lot of people to to get the timing together, and it's it's really simple. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna start here with this lick, and we're just on the G string, open G string, and we hammer on to the A note on G two, pull it off, and then we're here on D four, and we pluck it the first time and pull that off so it's and you can use your third finger I a lot of times I use my little finger whatever finger is most comfortable for you right and then we're to the open G so and then we strum this chord and it's bam bam ba dum right Okay, so that whole thing so far slowly. Okay, so then the next lick is similar. Hammer on and pull off here again. But go back to the G. Right? And those are all picked except for that first one. That's a pull off pick and then we go here just pulling off from the B to the A to the G and those of you who aren't used to pulling off you know that's probably a good little thing to practice there I like to use my little finger but your third finger is good too so that whole thing so far then. Okay, and then we strum the D chord. Uh, and then we're back to this. Okay, and when he strums that one, what it sounds like to me, like his strumming is, is changing all the time on this, and I'm sure you know they did a lot of takes on this and every take was probably a little bit different so I don't think any of this is really planned it's just he's just playing more with feel but on that second time he seems to strum it like this he seems to hit that note there and then strum up on the higher string so and kind of finish off on that low G okay So that's just a little detail that you can throw in there. Or not, doesn't really matter, right? And then we're here again. And then we do this like. Okay, so it starts with an open D, and that's just a, a grace note. So. Okay, so open D, 
And then hammer on from the A, or open A to uh, A2, to e, uh, D2. Back to A2. And those are picked. Okay. And that first note on the D is just a grace note. You know, you don't even actually need it. You could go. But if you throw it in there, it kind of just sounds better. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Okay, so then we're back to the G. Here again. Okay, and then we're here. Okay, so that's that, that C9. time what I do is I just keep this hand going okay and then just you know up and down up and down sort of thing in time and then just strum the beats you need so it's like bum, 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 bum. okay so we want to keep it kind of loose there you know Okay, and then we come into this chord, which is that B flat six, which is A1, D3, open G, and D4, or sorry, B4. But don't play that open E there. So we wanna we wanna kinda put that fleshy part of our first finger and kind of mute that. So it's not sounding, right? And we do this. So it's like the strumming is that sort of a feel. So then we slide it up two frets, and now we can play the open E. Okay, so. guitar part ends by playing this D up here. Okay, now if you're just playing this by yourself, you're obviously not going to be able to do that. But that's how it, it is on the record. That's how that first guitar part ends. But if you're playing it by yourself, you're going to have to go... part ends there and then we have uh, the 12 string comes in on the right channel I think it is and the acoustic six string just on the left channel and it essentially goes through that whole thing again and repeats okay but the crazy thing there is um, it speeds up there like quite a lot and it also will speed up later on when the vocals come in and the demo I did at the beginning what I did is I, I played along to the record in my uh, headphones. And, you know, I've heard this song hundreds of times, and I've never actually noticed how much it speeds up. It's really kind of shocking. Um, so, anyways, it's, that's the first part it speeds up, is when the 12 string comes in. It speeds up quite a bit. And then it speeds up again a lot when the vocals come in. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, so let's go right back to the beginning now, and let's talk about the timing. Jimmy Page's stuff, he always had some, you know, tricky timing things going on. I don't know if it was by design or what, but it's just sort of part of his gig is the timing thing. Okay, so uh, when I first started to learn this years ago, I would try and count it like one and two and three and four and one. like that but it's just so hectic and there's so much counting it kind of ruins the song you know so what I figured out is just a real simple way just like a cue of how to come in we've got to remember that the song comes in on uh, the three so it's one two three and four and one okay three and four and one four and one okay 
So all those shots are on downbeat. And that's the trick is getting that together. So what I uh, do is I just count to three. So as soon as I hit that down shot, I count to three. So I go, yes. One, two, three. Okay, so if you do that a few times, it'll sort of get your mind straight. And then, of course, you know, after a while, you sort of will do it naturally. Okay, so that's just a little trick on how I do it. Worked great for me. Hopefully, it'll work for you, too. So now we've got that other part. That is a little bit different when the 12 string comes in. And instead of, you know, going... We only do that the first time, right? And every other time we go like yes. Just the C there. And then we hit that uh, that C9 chord. And then the B note. And then we're we're here, and I do I do two downstrokes there, and then I go upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, pull off, right? And on the record, the acoustic. A six string is really staccato on that note. But I tend to hold that a little bit longer when I play it. Okay, so. And then we got a D chord. And then a D chord with our middle finger taken off. And then we're back into the that, okay. So let's take it from when the 12 string comes in. Like I think of it just like a G chord, so I use the same fingering as a G chord, so... Okay, so then, of course, the singing comes in. kind of here on uh, B4 and D3. We're going to play that open D string too, right? And we're going to hammer on here on B5. And the whole time we want to kind of mute that high E. So slide in. Slide up from G5 and B5 to G7 and B7, muting that high E string, right? Okay, do it one more time slowly. And the 
strumming on that is a. Uh, into that okay so that's the only part that's really different like I say the some of the strumming it's all a bit different here and there right um, so you just have to really listen for that uh, listen to the record for that and also the beginning demo thing I did here the strumming is fairly accurate there too okay so now we're, we're going along slide up here to this this high A. It's like that same D uh, form, but we're up here. And we're just sliding back and forth. So it's like We get into that uh, where the electric guitar sort of comes in and takes over, right? So that whole bit going down from uh, the end of the singing. just just like a G and you can go down up with the strumming right down up and then D A down up again or you could go two downs whatever is comfortable for you right I, I use the upstroke there Okay, then we're here at G, A, with that little D4 thrown in there, so. A little scratch in between. Okay, and I think it does it three times, and then we're back into that. So. And that goes three times too, and then the only other section here is that um, just before the uh, guitar solo, it's like the pre-solo. So we're coming out of this. Okay, so it's just a G, D, D, A, E. Right, so. I think it does it three times. into the guitar solo and the guitar the acoustic just kind of vamps on this on this F sharp 7 and you can you know take your take your first finger off there to get that open E you know it's basically just a vamp there so no real straight strumming thing. It's way back in the mix there too because the, the guitar solo and everything okay. So the solo eventually ends and it ends on this lick. And it goes 
back into that A, G thing. Okay, so the electric guitars play that in harmony, and I'm not sure if the acoustic's actually in there or not. But if you're playing this by yourself, you're going to want to do that lick, right? So I'll show it to you anyways. So it starts here on uh, F sharp, the note F sharp on E2, and we go to A1 and A4, and then D2. Okay, so just here, 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 and here. And you do it with that rhythm. There's quite a few extra little shots in there. Okay. Real slow. And then we're going to move up here to D4, to B uh, G3, G6, and B5. And we're just straight on those ones, right? We don't go... We're just... Okay, so the first one... Okay. And then we're going to move up here. I'm going to outline this kind of F-sharp bar chord up here. I'm going to start here in G11. Go to B11. And then E9, E12, E14. And slide that down and then we're back into that a G thing okay so okay so all three of those together are okay so coming out of that vamp into that, right? Okay, and then another verse, right? And then that verse will end, and the only other thing we need to learn now is the ending. And it's that part that comes out of that last verse. So what's happening there is the electric guitar is doing that lick. And the acoustic does it the very first time, but after that it just strummed. Um, so the lick is here on G, and it's just... And those are all picked, right? So it's downstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. picked right except for the first two down strokes okay and then we go to a D chord lick again go to a G chord so we're just alternating between G and D okay on the record the acoustic just plays that the first time it just goes It's just doing those strumming things, right? One, two, three. Just that a couple of times, and then eventually it just winds up going. Just single, single shots, right? But if you're playing this by yourself, you're going to want to do that like the whole time. Right, so you're gonna wind up going. Okay, and that's pretty well it. Those are all the licks in the song for the acoustic. There's a lot of other stuff going on with the electric, but I may do that in a separate lesson. Uh, but to me, and I think to most people, the beginning. You know, up until the electric start coming in is kind of the, the coolest part of the song. And that's a lot of fun to play, too. Especially if you got a got a buddy or something that, uh, that plays. You get two guitars playing that. It 
sounds really, really nice, okay? And remember the timing trick. So just count to three when you hit that downbeat. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? And that should really help you figure that bit out. All right, hope you get something out of this one, and we'll talk to you next time.